Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing another PT palette review. This time we're gonna be reviewing the box that we got in September. And in this review, I am going to tell you what a PT palette is, where you can get one, and what came in that month's PT palette. Now keep in mind, you guys, I always review palettes a month after they are released. So the palette I'm reviewing right now isn't the current one that will be coming out soon. So keep that in mind. All right, so that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so before we get into this box, I wanna go over some basics on what the Peachy Palette is. So every month, Peachy Olive Glitters comes out with this Peachy Palette, and she has a very limited amount of these Peachy Palettes, okay? The Peachy Palette has five two ounce bags of glitter included, and they're almost always all new colors that you guys haven't seen before. And those two ounce bags of glitter are two ounces by weight, not by volume. So you get a nice big five sacks of glitter. So 10 ounces total <laughs> for about $39 in shipping to get this. And this is a, usually about a $60 value that you're getting for that discounted amount. And plus you're the first to get your hands on some brand new colors. Now it does take a little bit of time for these new colors to be added to the site. Keep in mind that I review palettes a whole month after they are released. So a lot of these colors I'm reviewing aren't on the site yet. And I know that upsets some of you because you can't get these colors yet and I'm reviewing them. Um, but I've tried to really show you guys some alternate colors that match with what was in the palette and also she's trying to get better at getting those colors on sooner so you guys can get your hands on them okay so i apologize if that's upsetting <laughs> i'm just reviewing the colors and kind of trying to give you guys some inspiration on what to do with these colors if you did get a palette uh so let's go ahead and jump into these colors so the first one i'm going to go over is pan m and Pan Am is like, I think that's from the Hunger Games, right? I'm not sure. I think that's Hunger Games. Uh, Pan Am is a beautiful burnt orange red color. This is all a single color metallic square cut glitter. You guys, these square cuts, you know that I love them. There is a lot of square cuts in last month's palette. Look how beautiful. Now, Here's what Pan Am looks like under epoxy. So you're getting just really rich, deep, beautiful color with a ton of sparkle. You guys, I have not seen a palette that harmonizes as beautifully as all of these colors. Another thing too I forgot to mention is that I have six colors that I got in my palette. Usually you're only supposed to get five. Last month, if you guys remember, some of you got caviar and then some of you got Olea or Olea. Um, so there's the one outlier usually where some of the boxes come with one color, some other boxes come with a different color. So um, I'm not sure what is the outlier in the ones that I got. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> So anyway, um, Pan Am, beautiful color. I have not really seen a color like this before, just this like burnt orange, deep red color. So beautiful, I love it. All right, and then the next color is pumpkin, like pumpkin, my little pumpkin. Pumpkin, look at how cute. This is a chunkier mix. It's a small chunky mix, but it is a chunky mix. You've got a ton of fall shades in here. You've got some deep orange, some gold, almost like some browns maybe. No, not browns, but you do get a few different shades in there and they are beautiful. Look at this. Here's what this looks like under epoxy. 
And this just really reminds me of fall leaves, you know, just all the different colors of fall all in one glitter. Look how beautiful it is next to Pan Am. This is just the, like the essence of fall. I absolutely love it. Okay, so that was pumpkin. Very cute. And then the next color is Bozeman. Bozeman reminds me a lot of McLovin, if you guys have seen McLovin. But it's more orange than rosy. So here's McLovin. Here's Bozeman. This is a little thicker cut than McLovin. And again, more orange than a rosy. But look at the sparkle. So beautiful. It's almost a almost like a like a tan. Let me see what it looks like in here. So here it is in the shaker. You almost get an orange. Very pretty. So that's Bozeman. I, I think this is a square cut also. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm almost certain this is a fine square cut. Okay. So that's Bozeman, so cute. And then we've got, what is this one? Poppets. Poppets, the name didn't really make sense for me for the color, but whatever, it's a beautiful color. Again, we're getting just the essence of fall. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this one is a fine cut glitter, but you are, you're getting metallic, some iridescent. So this isn't all just one color metallic. This does have a lot of iridescent in it. Look at that. A fine cut as well. This is really similar to Rio. It's a yellow, not an orange, but the cut and the mix is pretty similar to Rio. So if you guys were doing a sunset, I'm gonna show you later what I mean by that, how gorgeous these would go together. So that is Poppets, and then we're gonna look at Ophelia. Now I've seen Ophelia a while back and I was absolutely obsessed with this gold. It is gorgeous. This is a beautiful champagne gold. If you guys saw Franny, in the palette last month, I believe it was. Very similar to Franny. So here's Franny. Here is Ophelia. So you can see the difference. One's like a darker, Franny's a little darker. This is more champagne. I, they're both the fine square cuts, fine square cut metallic. And it's all a one color metallic. And it's just oh, beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite color golds. It's also very similar to Cleopatra. I'll show you guys Cleopatra side by side. And gold member is also this kind of similar as well. But there's really just nothing like this. I mean, this is fabulous. And I'm always on the hunt for a beautiful champagne gold. I feel like this just hits the mark for me. Very happy with this color. Look at under epoxy. So much sparkle. And those square cuts just have so much depth to them. I love it. So that was Ophelia. And then my absolute favorite color out of this palette by far was Emerald City. Emerald City just sent me. I love a good like deep green, hunter green. This is Emerald City. Now forgive me, I got some other colors mixed into my mold here. So, But this is a all one color metallic square cut. She's been releasing a lot of gorgeous square cuts lately. And look at how beautiful this color is under epoxy. It's just such a classic. 
Like I could see some gorgeous vintage Christmas looks with this. Look at this. It reminded me of Malfoy, lighter than Malfoy, but kind of similar vibe. Malfoy is definitely darker. I think it's a, a little bit of a larger cut. This is lighter than Malfoy. So if you like Malfoy, but you think it's a little too dark, Emerald City's your girl. And it is just, oh God, it just whew, gets me. It's so pretty. I can't wait to use that color. I got to think of what I'm going to do with it, but oh my gosh. So that's all of them. That is the six that I got. Now, again, you guys will get five. I'm not sure which one will be left out or what you'll get, but it'll definitely be five of one of these. Okay. So here they are all together. Look at what I meant. See what I mean by these just all harmonized so well together. Sorry, I got some extra glitter in that one. But look at how beautiful these all just went together. I want to put all six on a cup together because I feel like this is such like just a vintage fall vibe. I'm getting like Vermont in the fall like knitted sweater situation. <laughs> That's what it's reminding me of. Um, I wanted to make almost like a quilt block pattern with these. I don't know if I'm going to achieve that, <laughs> but the first thing I thought was like classic, uh, like a quilt block pattern with all of these colors. Look at how pretty. And pumpkin really has the same kind of sparkle as like vintage and Aaliyah, which are two, you know, I just love these kind of blends that she does where it's like, it's a chunky mix, but it's not too chunky. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So some combinations that I thought of for these colors, if you guys want some inspiration on them, Pan M is going to be a, for me, it was a hard color to match. I'm like, what am I going to do with this other than using <laughs> the whole palette? Cause the whole palette looks great together, but trying to match these on their own with just one other color was a little bit challenging because they are to me, they're like specific colors, some of them. Panem was one of those really specific colors. So what I kind of got was like Moroccan, jewel tone kind of rainbow situation or like a Kate Spade rainbow palette where you have a lot of those jewel tones. So I thought these colors together all together were super pretty in kind of like a partial rainbow. So not like a little rainbow, like a literal rainbow, but like a partial rainbow situation where you've got banana balls, linders, Turks, 2009, and Pan M. Look how pretty that is together. So, you know, like a striped cup with those five colors, I think would just be absolutely gorgeous. So either Turks or Weekend at Bernie's for that, okay? Bozeman was a little hard for me to match. Again, I feel like Bozeman would have, would I'd probably pair that with something in the palette. Anything in the palette, Bozeman would really match with. I think it's really pairs nicely with any one of those colors, but like on its own, I couldn't really think of something else to match it with. So that's how I felt about that. <laughs> Pumpkin, uh, I thought was gorgeous with brown. I have it paired here with French press. You could pair it with cold brew, would also be pretty. Just some deep, classic fall vibes. So I love that. If you guys saw the cup I did with vintage and caviar from the last palette and I did put some French press in there, this would give you that same kind of vintage fall vibe, I think. 
so that was pretty and um one color i thought was really similar to this was war eagle war eagle does have some navy in with it and some more browns but it does give off kind of a similar vibe if you're only able to get your hands on war eagle i thought freckles also came in with a close match this is just a fine cut kind of burnt orange color Freckles is one of, I've used freckles a lot and I think it just looked really, really pretty with that. So that's that. And then as far as like matching Emerald City, I feel like Emerald City would look great paired with any gold. I mean, you could put this up against any gold and it's gonna look fantastic. any white, uh, any kind of like vintage Christmas print. Okay, sorry, I had to change my shirt because I spilled coffee on my last shirt. <laughs> okay, so another uh, pairing that I think would look great with Emerald City is again, pulling from the palette because these colors just look so great together. Look at how beautiful these three colors vibe together. So Pan Am, Ophelia, and Emerald City together just really sent me. Like I'm getting like Gucci vibes. It's just such a classy look. Look at this. I've never seen colors like this before, especially this Emerald City. I'm just, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, so that's what I thought about Emerald City. Next, moving into Poppets. Now I said poppets would look great in like a kind of Pacific Northwest sunset vibe. So if you were to put it in with Rio, Figgy, and Franklin, these four colors would blend so well together. Maybe put a red in the middle here. Ooh, maybe even pan in. Maybe if you even wanted to do that, look at that. Yeah, I feel like you need the Pan Am in there, okay? So like a deep navy or Frank, Franklin is like a deep, it's more like a silvery navy color. If you guys saw my Pacific Northwest sunset, <clears throat> this is the color lineup that you would want for that. So Poppets just works in there so wonderfully where I felt like banana balls in that color palette just kind of fell short for a sunset. Poppets is the perfect color to put in like a campy mountain sunset kind of vibe, okay? And then with Ophelia, I kind of wanted to look at it matched with Salute. I'm not sure if Salute is on the website yet or not. Salute was a palette color a few palettes back. And if you are already starting to look at New Year's like I am, <laughs> um, I think this is a really smart combination for New Year's. I love blue and gold, silvers, metallics for New Year's cups. So Salute is like a really pretty like navy and silver dark mix mixed with Ophelia in like an ombre situation would be whew, so classy, so pretty. All right, you guys, so that wraps up my PG palette review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love all of these colors. I'm sorry I couldn't pull any patterns that matched with these colors. They're just so like, fall specific or like kind of tough to match colors and I didn't have any patterns here on hand but they are so beautiful these are going to look great on like striped glitter cups which I've seen a lot of you guys doing lately the quilted um block pattern I'm really excited to do I gotta figure out an easy way to do that because that is not going to be easy uh, but I just absolutely love these colors. They're so classy, so trendy, so beautiful. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see some glitter tutorials and more videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss a new video. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching my video. We'll see you soon. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.